And I, I thank everyone for coming to this work session, as always. I think that we did, I felt like we wrapped up most of our business last week, but one of the thing, last time, excuse me, um, we have two, I want to this one last meeting, then my plan is to present the report to, of this committee. Um, what I'd like to do is hold a meeting just prior to our full committee session on schedule a meeting where we adopt or do not adopt the report that I'll draft. I'll present, I'll make sure everyone sees the draft and we'll be clear on it. I wanted to just take any final comments. One group that I felt like we had not gotten in touch with and I wanted to hear from were any representatives of business because we've talked a lot about the commerce and the commercial aspect of this um, legislation. And in all fairness, I did not contact people. Uh, I didn't give them a huge amount of lead time, but I did ask for. I did reach out to some people um, in the business communities, organized uh, organizations, chambers, and such, and ask if they have any thoughts. And, and I have not heard from anyone. I don't know if anyone here is from any chamber of commerce or any other group that wanted to speak. I did feel like I wanted to get some opinions and if they do submit anything to me in writing, I'd be happy to pass it along and put it into the file and, uh, you know, if people have any interest in commenting. My sense is that they're hanging back and feeling like, which leads me to the, what the last question, the one more question I think we might want to ask ourselves is if, I know that some folks on the committee are very strongly in favor of this legislation. Do you think that this legislation should come through criminal justice or commerce? I'll ask you, Representative Welch, because... It should go through both committees. Okay, just both committees. Yeah. Okay. That would be the best way to do it. We can set prices. We can't set prices. I just, you know, I looked at the, and I thought, it should it, where should it go? And, okay, very good. Um, <coughs> so... Uh, that being the case, you know, I, I made clear the last time where I stand, if I were to, if we were to call a vote now, should I ask for a motion uh, to, I guess we'd have to decide, I guess we don't need a motion to write the report, but we would need a motion on the report. Um, but I think that, would I, when I write the report, would it, would it, is it the will of this committee that legislation of this, would it be the intent of this committee to see legislation of this type move forward? If I ask, if I ask that question, would you say yes? I would say yes. Oh, yeah. Without seeing the report. Right. I would pending, say pending, yes. yes. Okay, and I'm not asking, and I won't write down, but you think that legislation of, I want to have a sense for myself as I write this, what the... My sense is, to reiterate, reiterate mm -hmm. here, is that I would like marijuana controlled and like. taxed as oh. alcohol. Okay, and I will make that... And the supreme. same rules apply to who can use it. And the I'll make same rules would apply. Yeah. Okay, okay. And I, make that I don't know if any of you read about the third grade teacher in Keene. The marijuana place? Yeah. And, <laughs> and the parents and the kids think he's a wonderful teacher. You know, and he's never been in any kind of trouble. You know, in my opinion, stupid to not be raising it in his closet instead of, I think, on the state highway right away or something. But it's, it, you know, it's going to destroy his life over do the same thing that alcohol did in the prohibition. It's you know, what's like the senator from Delaware outlaw other natural bad habits. <laughs> um, uh. I would invite anyone to make um, if there's anyone who would like to make a comment Prior, this will be our last public work session, and I would invite any comments. Um, 
I'd just like to thank the members of the committee for taking this seriously. I feel that we've expressed ourselves fully unless there are any questions. And I appreciate the diligence regardless of the result. Thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate your participation and all of the um, information you've provided us as well as the other speakers and participants that you've brought to us. And I think it made a difference. I think it was very interesting in our last session to have, I think that um, Mr. Cutler made, a, made points that we hadn't heard before and I was appreciative of that. Um, and I know we had, you know, we heard a lot from law enforcement, from attorney ge attorneys general, and I'm, I think we've gotten a very good picture of the issue. Um, I appreciated also uh, uh, Ms. Sear, who was here last time from the taxation, and I would actually encourage if this legislation were to go forward, I would simply encourage anyone to work closely with them. Um, anybody else wish to speak? And I will draft this report, and I thank you very much for being here, and I will schedule a meeting for the 13th prior to our full committee meeting, so that, and I will make sure you have a copy well before that. And I'll make them available. Um, if you'd like a copy, contact me of a draft. Um, I'd be ha I have no problem with making that available, um, but just to be clear that it will be a draft report. So we have a committee meeting on the 13th. Yes, we have a committee meeting, and we will. This committee will meet prior to, and um, I will just go schedule it. Yeah, I'll schedule it. I'll put it in the calendar. So that's all. I think we can close this work session. And thank you very much. I appreciate everyone's participation. Matt Simon there has got a book that I read that really solidified my change of heart mind oh, in regards to, to this you know, I really had yeah, the opportunity really? ah, oh, we can that book yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a copy sure. just <laughs> happens to have I tend to carry him <laughs> <laughs> okay. is that Thank the you. one that uh, mentions uh, Lou Gehrig's disease is that the one that mentions Lou Gehrig's I don't remember that one I don't remember that one I did give you a copy of it, so it yeah, probably does. Yeah, there's a chapter. It's one of the few things that has a positive effect. And it relaxes. I don't know what the, I don't know that there's any, one of the problems with marijuana is you can't do medical experiments because it's illegal. They didn't do, they didn't do medical experiments in the 20s before it made it illegal. You, you know, that was before penicillin. <laughs> So, what'd you think? What you expected? Somewhat. Things are never exactly what one expects, but it looks, you know, likely that we're going to get a positive vote on October 13th and that this uh, subcommittee of the House Criminal Justice and Public Safety Committee uh, is going to recommend legislation to legalize marijuana in New Hampshire for adults. That's a good thing. Well, absolutely. We're far from having convinced the entire legislature. There are 400 representatives, and most of them, you know, aren't, aren't there yet. But this particular committee is the one that hears all the testimony. They hear from the police chiefs and the attorney general's office. They hear from our side. And it certainly looks like the majority of them are coming around to our viewpoint and ready to end marijuana prohibition in New Hampshire for the good of everybody in New Hampshire. So how contentious do you expect um, the debate on the House floor when it gets there? If this bill gets to the House floor, we can expect a lot of jokes. We can expect a lot of contentious debate. And uh, who knows how they would vote on it. But that, that's definitely going to happen at some point in the next two or three years. This, this bill will be debated and voted on on the floor of the House. And I think momentum is definitely in the right direction.